Hey guys, this is Hank. It is August the 3rd, 0004. I have my eyes closed just because uh, every time I look into the cam ca uh, to this camera, <laughs> which is actually my cell phone here, uh, I get sort of uh, fumbled. You guys have ever noticed how I never look directly at the camera. Every now and then I'll sit there and just say it in front of you. But this is what was going on. I was sitting here singing my song, The Universe is Our Playground to Experience Probabilities. And I was like, oh, I don't want to sing it. But it's going through my mind. So I decided I'll just recite it. Now, I started this YouTube channel in 2011. And my intentions were to... Uh, I just finished an album and I had a desire to sing the songs a cappella just to see what people's reactions were to the lyrics. That's basically how it started. And then I was told in a QHHT session that uh, these uh, were messages that I was supposed to share with humanity. And thus, um, now I have, what, 1,800 plus videos and five, well, 300 of them are QHHT. I need to slow down and relax. And about a hundred or so are some other other things that I post, and then but a majority of them are the poems, which uh, first were songs, and then I, when I finished the album, I tell you the lyric, the melody just went, so I just kept writing them, but I wrote them in uh, rhyme, and um, that's where they all come from inside of my head, and I you I always say that. So anyway, I'm going to recite the second song I ever wrote. And uh, the reason why I'm reciting this song is because I remember whenever I, the first song I wrote was like the day before. And I was like, oh, my God, God, if I ever if I'm a songwriter, please give me something to write about, something that has some meaning. And this was the second song that came out of me. And I had a desire to know if that song 20 years ago in 1995 had the same relevance that it has today. So here it goes. It goes. The universe is our playground to experience probabilities. Physical existence is just the tip of our true identity. You must desire to get beyond the veil of this reincarnational stage and clear the blockage from your mind. Embrace your omnipotent heritage. First, you must know who and what you really are. Acknowledge the fact that God manifests as who we all are. We are multidimensional personalities temporarily focused on physicality, holographic fields of energy. What drives our being is creativity. We can be what we desire to be because our beliefs make our reality. It's most important to remember and grow. Expanding consciousness puts us in the flow. Lightworkers spread throughout humanity, directing us toward our spirituality, living life how it's meant to be, cohesive consciousness and physicality. I was blind, but now I see I'm the author of my destiny, and prayer and meditation are the keys to set my mind and my body free. I know this part may scare you, but you really need to know the truth. I know some of you aren't ready, but I believe I can reach you. There are beings from other dimensions, all colors, shapes, and sizes. They've been here from the beginning, coexisting throughout our lives. Knowledge, knowledge, forgotten in you and me. Knowledge, knowledge that explains true reality. We are all immortal, and it is time for us to believe. But we're so focused, making it seem real, and our egos help to deceive. Deceive, deceive, deceive you. All right, guys, don't let your ego deceive you. You're so much more than what they'll ever tell you. Thank you very much for listening. I do appreciate it. Love and light. Namaste.